What's up everybody? Welcome to MobCon. Today we are concentrating on the calves. MobCon is mobility conditioning. It's about rolling away the pain. It's about healing your body through self-massage or self-myofascial release if you want to be all technical about it. Alright, we are going to pay attention to our calves today so I'm going to back up to the roller and get going. I hope that you haven't ignored your calves recently because this will hurt if you have. Okay, most people ignore their calves, so this will probably hurt. I'm starting off with a trigger point roller. So a trigger point brand, find it on Amazon, online, trigger point brand. I'm going with a little bit harder one because I can handle it, but you can go with softer foam rollers also. All right, to start with the calves, I'm putting my calves on the roller. Go figure. Hello, I can start to wake them up just by pulling my knees in and out. Bend and straighten. And I can also point my toes out and point my toes in while I do that. I can start at the Achilles. Work the Achilles tendon or your ankle. And as you go, your roller is going to sneak up anyways. This really shouldn't hurt. I hope it doesn't hurt. Otherwise, the other stuff would just be terrible. But you got to do it because we're going to roll away pain, okay? All right. From there, we can get up on our tricep. Make our triceps work for us. So get up on our hands and then roll our calves in and out. So that's a little bit more advanced if you can get onto your hands. If you want more pressure and more advanced, you're going to cross your legs and put one, one leg over the other to have more pressure on one leg. So that's if you can hold yourself up. Hi, Artie. Good morning. If you can't, stay down. You can still cross a leg. You're just pulling the knee to a bent position and then straightening it. Okay, so I can still get pressure or try to get up there. Maybe get a couple rolls up on your hands. Then rotate your hips. Ow! And get some cross fiber in there. So you can be up and get more pressure or you can sit down. I can do the same thing, okay? I'm just rotating going across the fibers of my calf. So just switch position from the Achilles, above the Achilles, to the middle of the calf, to right behind the knee. Be careful with the behind of the knee. You're still on the calf, you're just closer to the back of the knee. Okay? So there you go. Roll in the calves. What is RT up to? That's with the foam roller. And then we're going to use the foam roller behind us on our calves. So I'm going to take this roller right behind me here. Here we go. I'm going to put it as far up in the crease of my knees. And I'm going to sit on it. And I'm using compression now on my calves. So hopefully you can see that plenty. Oh, breathe into this one. You control how much pressure you sit on those calves. Try to relax them, relax your feet. While you're just pressing, lifting, change position, press, ugh, lift. Go down to the Achilles, press and lift, and just repeat. Now I'm going back up, compressing the calves, compressing the calves. And depending on the size of your roller, you might not get a whole lot of pressure when you're going up high. So I think I have shown you my little half moon roller that does not roll uh, for obvious reasons. I'm going to sit on that so I can get a little bit more pressure higher up. I can use this both ways, this way and this way. So I can start with the flat side on my calves, get that way up in the crease. Now I can get up higher and then sit. 
I'll get some pressure on my hamstrings too. It's a double whammy. See, I can sit down farther on that and get up farther into my calf. Feels good on my hamstrings. Then I can go down a little lower. Put pressure on the Achilles. Now I don't really feel that very much. So I'm gonna flip it over, put the round side down, start up at the beginning again. Ah, now I feel it, because now I've got the round pressure side. Whoo, into my calf. Whoo, the right one is sore. Very. Ah, feels good though. Go down. Do the same thing, just repeat that. Just repeat, just coming on down. Sitting on them. Oh, if this is hard for your toes and you can't get your toes flat on the floor like that, take the foam roller and put your feet on it. Okay? Put your feet on the roller or your ankle, the top of the foot, so that your toes now have somewhere to go. So I'm not squeezing them flat. Now they have somewhere to go. And I can still do the same thing. But I might, you know, want to be careful when I'm going up so I don't fall forward because now I don't have that base of support on my feet. But I can still do it this way and not have that pressure on my foot on the ground. Okay, so whatever your preference is, whatever your ability is, try to modify it and go with what you can do so that you're not stuck not doing this at all. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the foam roller again, and I'm going to use balls this time. I've got a tennis ball, and I've got a lacrosse ball, and I can do the same thing here. I'm going to do one on each. I'm going to switch around so you can see me on this side too. All right, so I can put that ball up high, not too far into my knee. I don't want to damage anything at the back of my knee. Now here, I've got a ball. That's a lot of pressure. I'm not going to be able to sit all the way down. Hello, Artie. Hello, fluff boy. So I can come down and then back up. Down, back up, go to the inside of the calf. Now, I don't have as much pressure on the inside of the calf, so I can come down all the way. But that outside where that calf is stronger, whoo, I can only get to about there. Then I can go down, down farther. So it's really the same thing that you're repeating both sides. Not much going to get into the Achilles. Ah. Let's switch and see how this side feels with the tennis ball. Ooh. Yeah, man, I can't get all the way down there. I'm not going to sit all the way on my feet. Ah, but the farther down it goes, I can sit on my feet. Achilles feels good. And then go back up. Go back up, switch spots. Uh, farther up, the less space I have in the tighter area of my calf. Because that gastrocnemius muscle is really up high. And that's what you're putting pressure on when the ball is up higher. Okay, repeat that. Change the positions. This is not a roll technique that you have to spend a whole lot of time doing. Okay, five five minutes on both sides and I think you're good. So that's it. That's rolling the calves, guys. Keep it, keep it fresh, keep it new. Roll something new every day. Your body will thank you, appreciate you. It's gonna perform better. You're gonna be more flexible. You're gonna be in less pain and we all like that. Okay, you guys have a great day. See you later in the next mobility conditioning video.